trading. We're going to talk about trading strategies today. We're going to talk. It's a part two series that we do. Uh, we have this series. We do it every single week. And it's a free course for all of you because I like to give back to the community, the trading community. I've been doing this for 30 wonderful years. And I just see too many people blowing up their accounts. I see too many people that are too concerned about, you know, with everything going on in the world. There's so many opportunities out there. And I want you guys to take something home with you and then hopefully make you part of our family here at Cyber Trade University and maybe make you uh, and teach you how to not how to make money, but how to stop losing it, because that's the big thing. Now, before we get started, everyone, just a quick little warning and, uh, you know, just a little disclaimer. Uh, trading varies student to student. I don't, I'm not going to make any guarantees or warranties or promises to anyone that's a, that you'll be successful at it. It does uh, vary from student to student. So please be very smart and be very wise before you go out there and make your trades. Now, regarding about what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about, um, you know, about trading and how things work. So before we move forward, I want to get to know a little bit about all of you. So could you guys just tell me how long have you all been trading for? Has it been a couple of days, a couple of months, a couple of years? Just want to get to know everyone out here, uh, the audience out there. A uh, couple of days, you're a newbie, Leonard. Okay, a couple of years, Linda. 10 years, Michael. Sakwit, you got new, over 20 years. All right, well, uh, looks like, Everyone's been out there for a while. And, um, you know, and, and the thing I always like to point out is that great traders never stop learning. OK, and if you didn't answer that question, I'll assume that you're new to it. But uh, but the thing is, if you've been doing something more than three months and you're not very consistent at it or you're not getting it, you probably the type of style you're trading or certain exchange is probably trading the wrong way of doing it. Now, um, now, my next question to you is everyone is have you been trained by a professional? You know, meaning, did you take any courses with anybody? Any of that good stuff? Anyone out there? No, yes, many, uh, Neil, not at all. All right, now, I just have a very dumb question to ask everyone. Could you, just for my own reason, I just want to say, is there a reason, could you tell me why you never take in any courses? Like, listen, like, everybody's been to school, right? Elementary school, some, but I know some people didn't go to college because it's not for them, you know. So why is the reason why a lot of you here are writing no? Why didn't you take a class yet? Just out of curiosity. Expensive, okay. I know college is expensive. I agree. You know, listen, I'm, I had to have two kids at one time. It cost me a fortune. Uh, I didn't find the right person yet. Uh, just still testing the waters. Anyone else? All right. Well, listen, I'm not, I am here to kind of tell you that if you really want to learn how to trade before we start getting and moving forward with anything, um, if you have your phone in front of you, uh, I will post this up again, but there's a QR code right there. I'm going to invite every single one of you and show you how important it is to surround yourself, not only with a good school, a good mentors, but good traders. Listen, um, we're ranked, you know, we have a five-star rating on Google. We're endorsed by every brokerage firm in the industry. And you you probably found us because of that. So what I'm going to do right now for the first five people that register, if you scan right now, I will personally give you a coaching class. I will call you up on the phone. We'll do a Zoom meeting. Here's your opportunity to do it. And, um, you know, like I said, just scan it right now. And, you know, like, because what, what I'm going to do for the next hour i can only spark your interest but if you like it and you've seen it or you watched this before here's your opportunity to get a free coaching with me all right so with that said i'm not gonna wait too much longer let me move on now uh let's see what what's going on in the market right now okay let's see what's happening what's trading so there are a couple of stocks that made some big moves all right now does anyone here follow me on social media because i did a big post on uh this morning on instagram and uh, and we'll post up our our you know who's here in our staff right here. Uh, John, we got you in there. Any any of the staff, just be able to post our YouTube channel and everything else. But um, I want to bring up a stock that would that was moving unbelievable this morning. So did anyone see the stock M I N M? Anyone see the stock right here? M I M N. Check out the stock right here. So this stock ran from a dollar at six o'clock this morning. At seven o'clock, it was at two dollars. 
Now, if you're a late person and don't wake up early in the morning at eight o'clock, it was at four dollars. OK, then it ran to five. Then it ran to seven. We're not even the market's not even open. OK, it ran all the way to nine fifty. All right. By nine fifteen in the morning. Now, the room that I'm going to invite all of you guys into is I want to prove to you that we were trading the stock. Now, let me just bring this up to you and show you. So this is our cyber group room. And here it is right here. And I'm just going to scroll up here on top. And I just want to point this out to you right here. All right, right here. So does everybody see this right here? Um, these are our alert service that we ran. Here's the stock right here. See, this is at 916. And you can see all the stocks that we traded here this morning. And you could, we can look them all up and show you what happened to all of them. A lot of them moved up. You know, some were up about five. That was up almost 900%. It was stocks up 300%, everything else. Now, the thing is, um, and you could see right here, um, you know, talking about other stocks that are moving. This is all pre-market. This is moving right now. But these are all our traders and all our instructors. And I'm, I want all of you to come and join that room. Now, I'm going to look at some of these stocks. I'm going to show you what we, what we looked at and what we're going to be. I'm going to teach you moving forward in the next couple of minutes. So let me just clear this out. Clear all drawings. And move this over really quick and show you what was happening. So um, there was this stock, M-I-N-N. There was this one right here, A-G-R-I. This one ran from a, a dollar to a dollar uh, to a dollar eighty, you know, first hour of the open. Snapchat had a nice move this morning, 1636, all the way to 14. Uh, what else that we had that moved up pretty good? Oh, we had a really big one yesterday. This one was unbelievable yesterday. Did you guys see this one yesterday? We traded this one also. This stock ran this morning, ran from $12 up to 18. And at two o'clock, it ran from 18 all the way to $50 a share. I mean, these are things that some of you be like, oh, I never heard of them. Fausto, what about we trade Amazon? Yeah, you could trade Amazon 145. Oh, let's play Tesla. Okay, you could trade a $240 stock. But I would rather trade this stock that was at a dollar ran to 10 than trade Tesla at 250 and please don't tell me well i don't really trade the stock i trade the options now or now you're in a totally different league which is a lot more riskier the thing is this there's a lot of things that are moving every day what you have to learn as a trader is how do we find them what is driving them up are they going to continue that's what you're here to learn and most importantly how do i stop losing money because there are stocks out there fellow traders and I'll bring some of them up. And like this one right here, AGRI was at $300. It was at, it, it, you don't want to be a person that's holding you all the way down to a dollar, you know, because that could happen. And believe me, it happens every day. So let's, let's get right into the fun part of it and learn what's moving. All right. So before we go any further, let's start talking about, you know, how this all began. Now, um, I'm actually one of the original day traders that started back in the early 90s. Um, I, you, Forbes wrote a big article about us, a bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street. And I've been doing it for 30 years. So I'm like more of the great, great grandfather of day trading here. So if you go looking around like, oh, he's a day trader, where do you think they learn from? I'm actually one that kind of started it. I helped, uh, I helped beta test and, and built these ECNs, what they are today. And let me tell you, nothing really has changed. 30 years ago, other than technology got better and you don't got to be licensed to do it. So the thing is, I traveled around the world. I beat every single school in the industry. A lot of these people think they're traders. They're really not. A lot of the people go out there and they try to sell you these indicators and everything else. The thing is this, you want to learn from a trader, you got to learn from someone that comes from Wall Street. That's what we do here all day. Okay. I live here in New York. I was trained by the best traders in the world. And that's why I'm here today. And I'm still doing it. Now, um, I am actually first generation Italian. My parents came here from Italy and they always taught me and they said one thing. They said, Fausto, if you want to be successful in life, you got to learn from successful people that do it every day, all day long. OK, and not only that being a good trader, they got to be good teachers. So fortunately, living in New York, um, this is the financial capital of the world. I surround myself from some of the best traders. And let me tell you what I've learned on the first day in the job, which you're about to learn now, you're going to wish you never made your first trade. 
On the right, you can see my wonderful family. I have three wonderful sons, uh, married for over 25 years, my wife, Debbie. And I think part of having a good relationship with my family is because I had the luxury to run my own business, being a trader, and I could do this anywhere in the world. Now, what I'm looking to do is make all of you part of my second family, because being a good trader, you have to surround yourself with good traders, okay? Now, a lot of you are probably here not qualified to trade, but you probably don't know that yet. Like some of you, I asked you, why did you get educated? Well, money may be an issue. Maybe you haven't found the right person. Maybe you didn't even know it even existed. But hopefully today, I'm going to prove that all to you. Now, I'm going to actually be live next week at NASDAQ because... I'm actually one of the speakers uh, that teach people how to trade on level three. So um, if everyone's here registered, we're going to send you that email so you can watch me live at NASDAQ. Uh, and I'm going to be talking about how to trade. Because listen, the exchanges want you to learn how to trade. If you know what you're doing, you become very successful. One last thing before we go into the education. If you stick around at the end, I'm going to give you my book. You could buy it at Amazon for $47. I'll take your money if you want it for free. Stick around at the end. I'm going to give you the QR code and I'm going to give you that book. You're going to love it. It's the number one bestseller. Now, let's stop talking about me because because the bottom line, it's all about you, okay? Why are you listening to Fausto Puglisi? What are you doing wrong? And how could you make yourself a better trader? Well, the day trading strategy all started here, okay? And the thing is, it ballooned. It go, it's around the world. Everywhere around the world trades it. Now, um, there are different ways that you got to be careful when it comes to trading. A lot of people get a little nervous because they're like, is this scalping? Is this short-term trading? Whatever it is. Listen, you're here to make money, and there are different ways of trading. There's day trading. There's swing trading. There's long-term trading. There's options trading. Um, I like to do a little scalp trading. It's like you just make your days pay for the day and you get in, you're in cash. Listen, the reason why I'm talking to you right now is because I don't have any open positions. I'm free. I'm not thinking. I'm not being distracted. I know some of you here right now are probably sitting there having a second monitor looking at your stocks and not even really paying attention. Is that how you want to live all day? Is that what you want to do? You know, listen, you didn't make any money until you sell the stock. Okay. So stop counting your chickens until they hatch. But when it comes to trading, you know, it's short term, you make your days pay and that's it. The big thing about trading is more or less the, um, uh, which we call it, is the uh, money management part of it. And part of our education that we teach at Cyber Trade University is not just like, you know, telling you and, and watching these things big move. It's about, listen, you don't want to be caught on the wrong side. And a lot of it has to do about following those orders. So scalping has been a really, really popular uh, type of trading. I know some of you here probably tried it, probably were not good at it. Always have two questions. Who trained you? Okay. And and why did you get involved in it? All right. And that's usually, that's an easy kind of fix. Now, when it comes to positions trading, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when it comes to position trading, you know, if you want to be a good position trader, like an investor or a swing trader, you got to learn how to day trade first because it's what happens over the course of the day, which trickles into a swing trade. So basically, you know, it's it's holding a position longer. Um, it's holding it overnight, but it's not, you, you can't mix and match from day trading and position. It's one is done as a design. There's a lot more that's involved. You need to learn the earnings. You want to basically, you know, uh, you got to have the right brokerage account. You got to learn a little bit more fundamentals. It's a little bit more complicated, but- that's why a lot of people like to start off the easier way, which is more of the, you know, active trading, more day trading, seeing over the day, because and you'll see it. Um, but when you start getting to this, it's it's more risk, it's more reward. But where's more reward? You get you could lose a lot more. Now, momentum trading works by this. Um, it mainly focuses on when we start looking at some of the things that are moving in the market. It kind of works on the trend of the strength. Now, you have to understand. You do not control the market, okay? Um, the street controls the market. And you need to know where the street is, where Wall Street is, not Main Street. We're Main Street, okay? Wall Street's trading millions and millions of shares. So by following that trend, you'll also know how to, you know, basically see where the moving averages cross over. You'll be able to see the volume. You'll start seeing these RSI index kicks in. So there's a lot of little things that will kick in that, you know, that it's done for you automatically. It's more and more the discipline enough to say, okay, let me jump in and more or less to jump out. 
Now, the price action trading where it comes into play is you, you have to basically know where the key principles are and, the, and you got to have the right charts up and running. Uh, and a lot of it is we're going to focus on it by keeping things a lot more simple. A lot of people out there want to start getting involved with all these indicators and Bollinger Bands. And what happens is it just confuses you. And then when you think you like something, you'll find 30 people teach you 100 different ways how they see it better than the other person. And you end up getting confused. But the big thing that's great about you guys being here is that I always recommend that if you don't continue with Cybertrain University, or maybe it's not the right time, I always tell everyone, before you move forward with us, you should go shop around and see what other people offer you and see what they do for you. I know everyone here has been to the doctor, right? I bet if you go to a doctor for the, and, and, and you've all been there and we've done it and you have something wrong with you. If you go to three different op doctors, three, they'll give you three different answers. And you know what? You're probably going to go to the person. They say, you know what? I feel comfortable with this person. And you know what? Money's not an object in a way of my health because what's, what's it worth if I'm going to die tomorrow if I don't get the right person doing the right job? And the question that you're worried about is the guy out for my money or is he really out for my health? You know, is he going to do the right job or not do the right job? How many of you went to school? How many of you guys went to college? How many places did you apply for? Okay. And did you, did you jump on the first one? I bet the first one you originally wanted to look for, you probably even go to that school because says, you know what? I don't really like what they teach. I don't like this. This school is obviously more my style. Trading's the same way. Okay. There are types of patterns that move in certain stocks and certain things that move and just got to know where to look for them. And that's what we teach at CyberTrade University. I'm going to cover it. Now, part of order flow that some of you probably don't realize, and this applies to every stock, is that it's all about seeing where the big block orders are. Now, we're looking at a price action here. This is more or less the trade station platform. And, you know, what we're going we're gonna to focus on and we're going to look at it. I'm going to show you more details of it as we move on. But these little things that you see right here are the orders that are on the buy side and the sell side. You just need to know where more buyers are and more sellers are. It's all about the KISS method, keeping it super simple. Now, the key takeaways of being a very good trader is you got to know if you want to do scalping trade, if you want to be a position trader, if you want to be more momentum, price action, or order flow. They all have different strategies. Some people are just trying to make the spread. Some people are more or less trying to trade over the course of the day. Some people are just trying to find stocks that have good action and momentum on it. Um, you know, they're all different types of trading. And we can try to cover all of them for you. And eventually you'll find what works best for you. Not all, you can't do everything. Um, you could try a little bit here and there. Sometimes you might want to be a momentum trader. Sometimes the day there's nothing going on, you might have to scalp. Or maybe you're going to be trading your IRA and you might need to do a position. But there are different ways of trading. And, you know, with these key things that we cover, uh, I'm going to cover, I'm going to show you what I mean. So regarding about that, let's talk about some of the stocks that we traded this week. Okay. So did anyone see the stock affirm, by the way, AFRM? Anybody see the stock? Big mover today uh, on that stock. It ran from like 27 all the way to 39. And you can see right here, really nice move right here. Nice little push. Started around 930 this morning. After about like 10, 15, the stock had a big move. Now, the thing that a lot of you have to look at is, all right, um, is it going to continue to go higher? Which it did. It ran to 31. And will it continue to go higher? Yes. By the end of the day, it ran to 33. Well, there's a lot more things that move out there. GameStop was another one. Did you guys see GameStop? GameStop ran from, oops. Uh, GameStop ran from, you know, $15 up to $17. RDHL, very inexpensive stock, ran from $1.50 this is all in the in the afternoon to four dollars. Stock was up almost a hundred percent over the course of the day. This one was the best yesterday. VVOS. This thing ran from you know fifteen dollars up to fifty bucks right to the afternoon. In the morning hours, you could see it ran from four dollars to twenty dollars. You know, I mean, there's things that are moving all day long. Now, your question you're probably going to ask me is, how did you do it, Fausto? How did how how did your students figure this stuff out? Well, it's quite easy. All we work on is a big percentage gainers and losers. All of you here have access to a percentage gainer and loser list. 
Now, what you need to realize, which I know a lot of you are a little confused about is, how do you know which one you're going to trade? I mean, there's a lot of them moving there. Well, part of the training, what you have to learn is, does it have good volume? Does it have a good spread? Does it have good momentum? Um, you know, these are little, do we have big buyers and orders on the stock? You know, and what we kind of teach is something called the three T's, tradable, trend, and trap. 50% of the people fail is because they trade a stock that's not tradable, meaning it's just, it's out of your league. The thing moves too fast. It's too volatile. But going through that, it's not a crystal ball. Um, if you follow us through our Twitter or Instagram or our TikTok or more importantly, our YouTube channel, we cover a lot of this first thing in the hour and the last hour of the close. So another thing that I invented which is called the cyber clock. Okay, you can see it right there. Now, trading is not a full-time job, all right? And part of trading, you know, depending on where you're logged in around the world, you could trade the first hour, the last hour, um, the middle of the day, things start slowing down at certain times, there are good times to trade, bad times to trade. But, um, but I know the first thing people ask is like, oh, I don't wanna sit by a computer all day. Maybe some of you do, you're wasting your time. This is not a full-time job. A lot of traders that we had caught some of these stocks. A lot of them didn't catch them. Probably most of them didn't because whatever. They, you know, you lose 90% of them, but if you can catch 10% of them, you're doing pretty good damn well. Um, there's always a, there's always an adventure. But just keep in mind, it's not a full-time job. It's like a Jimmy Buffett that's a buffet that's running all day long. You just got to know when the days are open, the days are closed. That's it. And when the hot food's coming out and, the, and when they're going to change. Trading's the same exact way. Now, uh, let's find some stocks, uh, you know, basically what made these things go up due to the buying and selling. So there are technically four windows that are going to help you follow the big orders. The scanners, the chart, the level three, and the level four. Now, what we're going to focus on right now is level three and level four quotes. Now, I have a question for all of you because uh, I'm here talking my brains out. I want to get you guys involved because I'm going to start asking questions. And if you want to have a little fun, if you want to learn, don't be shy. No one can read anybody's chat. But please, um, you know, once again, just please share what, 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 what your thoughts are so I can kind of get to know a little bit more about you. Does anyone here have level three or level four quotes? Just give me a yes or no. One yes, no, two yeses. So far, everyone's saying no, 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 no. Henry, you don't have it. Steve, you don't have it. JD, Lenar, uh, Leonard, you don't have it. Michael, Bill, Susan. Good, good, good. Okay. I'm glad everyone chatted back. Okay. Now, for the ones that are not listening right now, stop what you're doing. What I'm about to show you right now is probably going to be the most disturbing thing you've ever seen in trading. And you're going to be so ticked off that if you did take training, you'd be like, how in the hell these people didn't teach me this? And what you're about to learn is going to make you realize it's going to take a big brick over your, a uh, bunch of bricks off your chest and be like, I knew this existed. And how did I not know it? And the next thing you're going to say is how come more people are not talking about it? And I'm going to cover that also. So now, please pay attention because now I'm going to teach you the style and how Wall Street traders trade. I'm going to start off first really quick with NASDAQ Book Viewer. Okay, now I am going to be live next week at NASDAQ talking about this. Um, listen, NASDAQ would never allow Cyber Trade University. They don't let any schools out there, but believe me. They know I'm a big advocate for it. They know how valuable is it. And now I'm there and, and, and I want to pass, I didn't want to pass that knowledge over to you. So we're going to cover that really quick now. Okay. So what we got right here is, um, let me get my crayons really quick. So I'm going to do some drawing here. Okay. So right here, these are your buyers. On the right, these are your sellers. Okay. Now we have three columns, orders, shares, and price. Okay. Now, what you have right here, what you got to look at is whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up on top. 
whoever wants to buy stock, but the least amount of money is on the bottom. Now, I want you to understand something. What you're seeing right here is every single order that's being traded on this specific stock around the entire world. You have a seat on the exchange. What is wrong with that? Why would you not want to have a seat on the exchange? Everybody's sitting there. You turn on the financial stations. You're watching TV and you look and listen to all these analysts and you see MSNBC. I mean, CNBC um, has their studio on the Florida New York Stock Exchange. Like, wow, I wish I was down there. I wish I could be listening, see what those guys are buying. You can. You can right now. It's been, it's been going on for years. Now, what you want to know is how do I learn how to use that data? That's what we're going to talk about right now. So let me clear this out. Let me change our slide. So what we're looking at right here is we're looking at a stock Mara. Okay. So, well, listen, don't, forget about the people. I didn't ask tell you to watch the people that are on the show. What you want to see is the people that are trading the floor. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, I, I totally agree with you about the, you know, the, the people on there. They're just show pieces. Okay. So anyway. And believe me, I know a lot of them too. And a lot of them are not traders. They, they were great, great, great uh, uh, presenters at their colleges. And that's why I guess they, whatever. Let's move on because I could talk forever on that. Let's get right to this. Here we have a stock, Mara. Okay. And you could see how it started right here. And it started going down, right? All of a sudden, it decides to stop right here. Okay, it stops right around here around $12. And it stops 12 and it starts going back up and it goes all the way up to about 12.45. Now, how could we have known it was going to stop at 12? What made the stock stop at 12? Well, when you look right here, fellow traders, um right here on the buy order, there was about 100,000 shares looking to be bought at $12 and there was 126 orders around the entire world that made up that 100,000 shares. Now, you and I can actually go out there and contribute at $12. Let's say you want to buy 1,000, that would turn to 101,000. So you're basically seeing every order out there, okay? Now, this is basically, you got to remember, and I'm going to ask everybody a dumb question. And by the way, if you can't answer this question, you should quit trading. How do stocks go up and go down, everybody? How do they go up and down? No, not price, Terrence. No. Henry, you're correct. Linda, you're correct. Rob, you're correct. Michael. Could every, it's buyers and sellers. Okay? Buyers and sellers or supply and demand. Could every, Billy, I didn't hear from you. Denzel, I didn't hear from you. Can you guys, don't let me start kicking people out. Listen, I'm not here for my health. I don't want you guys to lose money. Okay, so everybody out there, just write, just write S and D, or buyers and sellers. Just write B and S. Just write B and S. Just so I know that I have a pulse. Sarah, same thing from you. I didn't hear from you. Thank you very much. All right, listen, I am giving you the most valuable education right now that is going to make you realize that you've been trading blind your whole life. Okay, so. Be focused because it's going to get even more interesting as I keep changing these slides. So let me change. Let me go to the next one. What makes resistance levels? Sellers. Here we have a stock, VDOS. Stock goes up, hits a resistance levels at 20. Why did it stop at 20 for the next, I don't know, what is this, uh, two hours? Well, when you looked over here on the sell side, there's a lot of sellers out there. But when you get close to that 1949, you got 23,000 shares. Now, it wasn't as big as the 100,000 we saw earlier, but you got one share, 50 shares, 100 shares, 1,000 shares. You know, talking 23,000. You're talking 20 to 20, 200 times more the average order that's out there than anyone else. So that is called a big block order, which we call an iceberg order. Well, what happened when it came up to that big iceberg order? Stopped. And if you didn't know that there was an iceberg order out there that someone was trying to sell, guess what? 
This is how you get stuck into trades. This is how things reverse on you. Because sellers equal resistance. Resistance doesn't equal sellers, which is everybody out there is doing things backwards. Let's check out some more examples we did this week. Okay, let's look at Apple. Let's look at a brand new. You know, someone's like, wait a minute. If we look at something we know we know of. Okay, we'll look at Apple. Apple's going down. Okay. Now, my question to you is this. Where are the buyers in Apple? Because that's what we need. You all agree. We need buyers, right? Where are the buyers in Apple? Um, Martin has a good question. He says, but how do we know if even the big orders won't get filled? We didn't get to that, Martin. That's a great question. I'm going to save the best for last, okay? Right now, let's just keep it simple. Buyers, sellers, okay? Where Where's the support levels? Really? You found one at 184? How'd you find that number? It's actually lower than that. Where, where is it? You can't see it on a chart. You don't see anything on a chart. I don't see a buyers on a chart, but you don't all want to watch look at the chart, right? Okay. Well, how about this? How are we going to find where those orders are? Got to go look at the book viewer. Okay. So we're going to go to NASDAQ. I, I need to see where the buyers are. And I'm working my way down. And I notice all the way down here, I got a 51,000 share buyer at, at 184.25. Now, is that a lot? I don't know. 700 shares, 300 shares, 2,000, 118, three shares. 51. Yeah, I would say that's a lot compared to all the other orders that are out there. I mean, I don't even see a 50,000 share seller out there, but I do see a 50,000 share buyer. Now remember, stock is going down. I need to know where the buyer is. Okay, well, guess what? Let's, let's fast forward and let's see what's happening. When that stock came down at 10 o'clock, it hit it, hit it, hit it, never went lower, went back up to close to 85, hit it, hit it, never wanted to break that 84.25, and you could see it. 10 o'clock, 10.30, 11, 11.30, never wanted to break it. Want to know why? Can anybody tell me why? Why would the stock go, go below uh, 184.50 again? Could I get a chat back? Could I hear it? Could you guys could tell me? Why is that? Exactly. Big block order out there. Thank you very much, Mike. Thanks a lot. All right, good. Buyers, buyers, buyers. Am I getting you guys into the flow? Good. By the way, is anybody confused? Did I lose anybody yet? Just give me a yes or no. Somebody says, give me, show me more. <laughs> okay, we're going to get there. Listen, we're only at slide uh, 40. We got about 30 more to go. All right. Did anybody see GameStop yesterday? Let's talk about that. So GameStop had a good move yesterday, good pop. Stock ran from 15 all the way to 17. You could see in a matter of an hour. Now, the question is, being a good trader, you got to have a game plan, right? You got to know where is the resistance levels, where, you know, you, you want to take a profit. You don't want to sell too cheap, but you also don't want to throw away money on the table. Does a chart show you where the sellers are? Yes or no? Do you see sellers out there? No. All right. Let's go and check out. Let's go on the NASDAQ exchange. Where are the sellers? On the right. I'm looking over here for sellers. I got 15,000. I got a 52,000 share seller at 1750. Now, without looking at a Bolger band, a MACD, a Fibonacci, an SRSI, all that other crap that you guys are looking at, a Shankin, whatever you want to call them, I could tell you this nothing's going to beat a 52,000 share seller out there at 1750. Now, without even looking at a chart, which we saw here, it looked like it was going up. But we're about 50 cents away from that big iceberg order. What do you think is going to happen when we get there? Hit it. Boom. Thing tanked down to 1550. Now, have you ever been in a situation and you were in a trade and all of a sudden you're like, stock just tanks on you? And you're like, what in that effing happened? How did I not see that coming? And then it's like usually too late. It's like, oh my God, I was making so much money. And all of a sudden I come back, I'm like, how did that happen? Well, the question is, did you see all the sellers out there? Did you, I mean, think how much smarter and better trading decisions if you knew that you were coming up to a big iceberg order, 52,000 shares in GameStop or any stock that you're in. Uh, why, uh, well, listen, Linda, this is why you're here. Okay, 
Now, understand something. We've only been talking for about 30 minutes, right? How much time did I spend on training with you? Maybe 15 minutes, right? Think how much better and smarter trading decisions if I could show you this all week in the live markets because we practice what we preach. And how about this? How many of you clicked on that QR code? And be able to want, how about how many of you ever spoken to the owner of the company? How many of you have taken a class and were mentored by, you know, by the owner? Would you go to a doctor and get surgery on? If you never spoke to him first, you only spoke to the, the nurse. Listen, I don't think anybody is dumb to do that. But when it comes to trading, this is why I care. Because a lot of you here have tried it or want to try it or failed at it or heard bad things about it. And that's why we're here. Um, Abdul, we didn't get to that yet. I'm saving the best for last. All right. Now, if anyone here wants to get book map, that's my email. So write down my email right now, Fausto P at ctucorp.com. And I'll tell you where to get it. Now, let me just tell you something. When I 20, 30 years ago was introduced this data, it cost me a thousand dollars. All right, a thousand dollars. Today it costs fifteen dollars. Now, does anyone here have a problem paying fifteen dollars to see where seventy percent of all the buyers and sellers are? Anyone here have a problem with that? To pay fifteen dollars a month for the exchange, not not me or the broker, going right to the exchange, have a seat on the exchange. Not at all, Abdul. Jacqueline, no, not at all. Terrence, no problem. Okay, good, because I still don't understand why people don't do it. You know, See, Sean says, sign me up. All right, well, listen, you got my email. Listen, I'm not going to tell you where to get it uh, because I, we have a video that we want to give you. Um, it helps you set it up properly because if you look at it, you'll actually do more harm than good. You know, the defaults are wrong. You, you know, like how many of you have a brokerage account and like call the broker? Like, I don't know what I'm looking at. You know, it's not the way I, I see things. You know, I want to give you guys a good um, a good experience of it before you spend a single penny on anything, okay? So um, there's my email address, and I'll tell you where to get it, okay? By the way, this is right through the exchange, right through the – it's not the Fausto Level 3. This is NASDAQ exchange, okay? Now, let's talk about Level 4, which everyone here has been – a few of you have already been asking me about, you know, Level 4, which is also known I call as Bookmap. All right. Um, so envision that you're able to see everything on level three, but now you'll see it on a heat map where not only you'll see the order of how long he's been out there for and all that good stuff. So let's go back to a firm that we traded this week. Now, a firm, you could see the stock is trending down. It's going down, 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 down. Right. But then all of a sudden. A buyer shows up for 50,000 shares. And once he showed up, what happened to the price of the stock? It went up. But not only did he um, bought it, was looking to buy it, you'll notice that he canceled his order around 10.15. He disappeared. But the stock kept going higher. Why did it go up? Well, I could tell you, this is what we're going to teach you at Cyber Trade University. He probably went out there and said, you know what? I'm not getting at 1940. And if I need, really need it, I got to pay more for it. Maybe he went out, he, maybe he's the guy who ran it up after $30 and 40 cents and ran up to 3140. Well, there's only way to learn this stuff. These are things that the strategies we're going to teach you at Cyber Training University, because some of you here just mentioned and say like, how do I know that's a real order? How do I know he canceled his order? Oh no, he didn't cancel. He went out there and he said, screw it. I'm not on the bid anymore. He went on the offer and he executed it. How do you know that? These are the strategies that now where things start getting a little bit more complicated. But you know what I'm talking about. I'll give you an example. Anybody here own a house? Anybody, anybody here own a house? Give me a yes or no. Henry, Margaret, everyone own a house, right? Okay. So did you ever put a, a bid in the house, right? And then you get caught up in a bidding war? And like, well, that's my price. And like, oh my God, it just went up like a hundred thousand more. And like, you know, I'll just take it. Well, you probably canceled your original order 
And you just said, you know what? I just executed that other order that he really wanted it because I was getting outbidded. Same thing with the stock market. But you don't know that because you don't have the right data. Leonardo, um, spoofing is illegal. Okay. If anyone gets caught with that, it's a million dollar fine. So does it go on personally? I don't know because, and it doesn't really matter to me. But if you think something's illegal going on, why are you in this business? You know, that's another thing I tell everyone. There are liars and cheaters and thieves in every business. I just bought a new car. You don't think I had to go to five different dealers to find out the one that wasn't going to screw me over? You know, you don't go to the doctor or you don't go to your teacher, you whatever it may be, you for anything. Okay. So, but if you feel like you're, it's something that it's shady and illegal, you shouldn't be in this business. Your problem is you just don't know how to play the game. That's yeah, that's your issue. Okay. But spoofing is extremely illegal. And I don't think any brokerage firms are going to want to get uh, get caught doing that. Let's talk about GameStop. Let's go back to that one too, because we had some good iceberg orders. Now I want you to look at this one. So the stock is going up. It's at 1685. And then we're getting up to this little line. This guy's been out there since about 115. It's about 215 now. And there's a 34,000 share seller out there. And you could see the color got darker because it seems he was adding to his position. Now, when you look at a chart, did you see that seller out there? I didn't see anything. Okay. And don't tell me, oh, it's a double top or this crap or that crop. A chart doesn't tell you nothing other than the past. Level three, level four are going to teach you the future. Because if you didn't see that order and didn't know it was out there, guess what? That stock right from 1750, boom, dropped all the way down to 1640 like that. Like a panic, like a rock falling off the Empire State Building. How would you have known that? How you have been prepared? Well, because you don't have the right tools. Once again, has it ever happened to anybody with you? Um, Brett, we're going to cover that at the end, okay? All right. Uh, I think this is pre-recorded. What do you mean pre-recorded, Sarah? I don't know what you mean by that. This is all live. This is all live. Do you have a question, Sarah? What's your question? Okay, just making sure. This ain't really... I don't do pre-recordings, okay? <laughs> All right. But thanks for sharing that idea. I know, doesn't it suck you go into a webinar and like say, that? it doesn't seem like a, a, a recording. No, it's not. All right. Let's look at this example right here. Stock right here, 130K seller at $13. Okay, you see that? Now the stock is right here trading at 1230. It's going up 9, 930, 940, 950. All of a sudden, the seller shows up right around nine fifty for one hundred and thirty thousand and another forty five thousand. You're talking close to about was that one hundred seventy thousand shares at thirteen dollars. Um, what do you think is going to happen when we get there? What do you think is going to happen, fellow traders? Up or down? <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Linda. Yeah, Linda had a funny question. Uh, I'd like to share that with everybody. Um, Thank you very much, Linda. I appreciate that. It's probably going to go down, right? It's probably going to go down. Okay, very good. Do you see the seller of 130,000 shares on, on a chart? Do you see a seller out there? No. Nope. But everybody wants to look at a chart. Everybody wants to look at the chart, right? Well, let's look at this example. Stock has 100,000 share buyers showed up at four bucks. Okay. What do you think is going to happen to the price of the stock? Is it going to go up or go down? Yeah. Guess what? Not only was he a buyer, but you want, you want to know how the stock cancels and bids? This guy was so interested in buying it. He canceled his order. He didn't get it. He bid it up at 405. He canceled. And what he ended up doing, he says, screw it. I'm not getting it. I better buy it because my client needs, wants to spend $400,000 worth of stock. If I don't get it, I'm going to get in big trouble. And guess what? The stock goes from 405 to 450 in a matter of, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes. Do you know if you made 50 cents on 1,000 shares, that's a $4,000 investment. I know some of you blow that on an option call. But here's just buying the stock, black and white. If you made 50 cents in 10 minutes on 1,000 shares, that's $500. That's $100,000 a year salary. Who here doesn't want that job? 
Because 50 cents sounds like a joke. I mean, I just showed you stocks up 40, $50 in a day. 50 lousy stinking cents. Anyone have a problem with that? I don't. I, I, I would take that job all day long. How about this? Algos. Ever heard of algos? Okay. So I'm going to show you something really cool. And this is where we get more complicated. This is called algos. You have 30, 40,000 share sellers all here. Two, three, 210, 205. Look at all these lines. These are all algos. Do you notice they disappeared? Once this person got executed, the first order got executed, that stock ran from $1.90 and it ran all the way to 250 in a matter of, I don't know, 10 minutes. Everyone's like, ooh, watch out for the algos. Well, of course you got to watch out for the algos because most people don't even know where they are. Some people don't even know what they what, where they come from or how it even works. Who do you think invented algos? Okay. You're looking at them. This is what we do all day. We're the ones that... See, I'm here to teach you Wall Street's biggest secrets. And the only reason why I'm here doing that, because some people are like, well, why are you telling us, Fausto? Because... It is a 95% failure rate in trading. And I hate seeing people lose money now because there are too many people out there be like, oh, you're going to lose all your money. It's too negative. Well, you know what? The only people that are going to lose are the ignorant people that want to go out there and say, you know what? Let me go learn and watch a couple of YouTube channels. I'll do it myself. Stop playing, you know, doing that. Stop, at, stop being your own, you know, doctor. Okay. Let, leave that for the professionals. Okay. Now, all this stuff is going to predicate on this. Did an indicator tell you that? What do we got? Momentum, Bolger Band, MACD. I mean, do, does anyone even know how to read this stuff? Anybody use Bolger Bands? Anyone use, anyone use a MACD? You know what this looks like to me? A bunch of chicken scratch. Okay, that's exactly what this looks like. But apparently, and by the way, you know how many indicators there are? Thousands. Okay. And every every indicator, there's like 20 different people that have a different way of reading it. You know what the problem indicators are? They're laggers. I don't know about you, but I'd rather look at this. I'd rather look at this. I would rather look at this. I would rather look at this. I do not care to look at that. This is complicated. This is a delay. By the way, do you guys even know who invented indicators? They're mathematicians. Do you think, who do you want to learn from? A mathematician or you want to learn from a trader? All right. So that's what it comes down to. Well, Brett, listen, regarding about indicators, like on Bookmap or whatever, I mean, you could add those things as you go along. Um, and they're different because they're not, it's not, an, it's not a, it's a, it's a platform. It's not an indicating, it's not an indicator. That's the way it works, all right? So who here wants to learn more? Who here wants to learn more? Come on, I didn't hear you. Come on, more and more. I didn't see any yeses. Me, me, please. Come on, there's almost 100 people in here. All right. So listen, there's no better time to learn than now. Let me, let me tell you why. We're going to the holiday season. Things start getting a little slower now. So you want to learn when the, the market's more on the slower side so you feel like you don't miss anything. But anyway, we've been having some good action in the market, which is great. But I want to, I want all of you, invite all of you here to trade alongside with my team, okay? And the thing is this, everybody here is going to learn what you've learned in, in this past hour. I'm going to give you one whole week to watch it during the pre-market, market, market hours. You're going to be able to talk to my staff. You're going to be able to talk to me. You'll be able to talk to them. We're looking for traders that that have a passion that, to teach, to trade, that, that don't want to do this full time and be able willing to kind of share your thoughts, what we're trying to teach you. Because I want to teach you how to find these orders. Because if I could teach you, then you might see something that I didn't see or the other traders might see and we may all make money together. Or better yet, we might be in a position and you might see something and might save us all from losing money. But that's what and how you become very successful at it. And so that's what I'm looking to do. I want to invite all of you guys to come 
and see how we find these stocks, how they move, and see if you understand it. But don't be nervous. Don't be scared. There's no better time to learn. It's not complicated. Think about it. Most of you all agreed it's following buyers and sellers. Well, isn't that hard? But let me show you during the real market hours. All right. And by the way, this is why Cybertrain University has been, been endorsed and been sponsored by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry today. I can almost guarantee you if anyone's been traded, traded, uh, been trained, not nobody, nobody could ever put a list like that on their on their on their website. Okay. I've done presentations for all these people. I've been background checked by all of them. My staff has. And believe me, they have a lot more to lose than you. Now, another thing. We got a five-star rating on Google, okay, which is unheard of. We got an A plus rating at the Better Business Bureau, which is unheard of. Listen, my thing is this. The reason why we had such a great reputation in trading for over the past 30 years is because we take the time and we give you the best customer service. We want to make sure it's something that you're doing. It's right for you. So we're not going to go out there and just train all of you to come out there and say, okay, here's somebody trying to sell me a $500 class. No, we do not do that. Okay. If we can make money with you, we'll make you part of our team. If we feel that you're not capable, we're not hiring you. So Everyone here is going to be invited to my cyber group room. You're going to meet my traders. You're going to see the stocks that we trade. But most importantly, we're going to teach you how to think for yourself. Now, this is what we do over the course and give you a little breakdown really quick. We do a live audio broadcast at 9 a.m. in the morning Eastern time. We do live commentary up to 1030. We still trade during the day, but usually the middle of the day is kind of quiet. We'll come back and do commentary at 2.30 in the afternoon. We'll run all the way to 4 o'clock. We'll have um, educate, educators, uh, other gurus come in there, and people in Forex and futures and options and crypto. We're always constantly giving content. People love educating. It's one of their hobbies. Uh, we're going to do that for you. And all you have to do is scan this code. That's all you have to do. Now, what that's going to cost everybody, what you're going to get, this is what it's going to cost, $9. That's it, okay? So forget about the 15, forget about the 1,000, $9. Now, the reason why we're charging $9, listen, I don't need your $9, okay? All right, I got I got a picture behind me. It's probably worth almost 100,000, okay? I'm just looking for real people. I don't know if you, who you are. I see people here with different names, email. I don't know where you came from, but we're not looking for any hecklers. I don't know if you're a you know a competitor or who you are, whatever it is. But you know, if you're serious, and and we'll take you serious. It's nine dollars. And by the way, if you don't if you don't like it, I'll give you money back. I don't need your money. I don't need your nine dollars. I'm looking for serious traders. But this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get workshops. You're going to get Traders Talk Library. You're going to get the live trade room. You're going to get a free consultation with me, which, by the way, I'm going to give you an extra 20 people if you register right now. Um, and it's all going to be for nine bucks. That's it. Um, Martin, listen, uh, regarding about what you've done, uh, what you've taken so far with us. Now, your next question is, do you want to continue with Cybertrain University? Okay. So that's that's your next step, because to train somebody is a lot of work. All right, on our part. And it takes a commitment in your part, Martin. So by you being part of Cybertrain University and see what's going on, now, now you have to make a decision. Do you want to continue after doing your orientation with us and seeing and listening what's going on? If this is something that you want to do. And that's a conversation we'll have after. Um, to answer another person's question, what does it cost after a week? Nothing, zero. We don't charge you a single penny. If you don't want to continue with us, we don't want your business. We don't need your business. Okay, we respect your business. We don't need your business. Okay, if I want to, I can have 5,000 people in my trading room. I don't need 5,000 people. I need a couple of hundred at a given time that we can work together, and that's all we need. Um, no, it's not recurring. No, it's not. No problem, Terrence. I look forward to talking to you again, too. <laughs> I know I have a lot of a, a, few, a few appointments. I, I do my appointments on Fridays, so I, I feel one of them. I look forward to talking to you. All right, guys, $9. That's all it takes. Nine stinking dollars. Get your QR code. 
scan that QR code now, get all these classes, get in our trading room. Let me show you what's going on. And that's all that matters. Now, let me do a quick audio check. Uh, a couple of people here. Uh, Neil Smith just got your registration. Welcome aboard. Look forward to teaching you and getting you in the trading room. Uh, Hank, Hank B from uh, Bloomingfield, Miss, uh, Missouri, got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Sean Curry from Texas. Congratulations. Look forward to you. I'm look forward to teaching you. It looks like we're almost done with the 20. Uh, Karen, got your registration. Welcome aboard. Who else we got here? Uh, Mark. Stefan's got your registration. Welcome aboard. All right. Anyone else? Anyone else have any? By the way, when you register, let me just tell you a couple of things really quick. Um, we're going to, there's a, there's a question here. There's five questions we ask you. Please let us know, you know, who you trade with. If you've taken any training, what's your style of trading? So um, we always like to analyze, you know, basically like to do our, our due diligence and make sure we want to know, you know, what you know so far about trading. So when you get into the room, we put you and you know how to consult you. Also, the next thing you're going to be doing is that when you read, there's going to be a calendar, you're going to book an appointment. So um, when you click on that appointment, uh, when you click on that appointment, there will be your, um, where you'll book your appointment to speak to one of the education advisors. So you can do a walkthrough with you to tell you exactly what's going on in the market. Karen Hunt just got your registration. Welcome aboard. All right. Any other questions, fellow traders? Nine dollars, one week in the trading room. We're going to show you how to find the stocks. We're going to show you how to read level three, level four. We're going to show you how to get book map, uh, uh, book viewer, how to use it, everything. And let me tell you, you're going to come to realize that this is for you or it's not for you. Who else we got here registered? Uh, we got uh, Martin. Oh, that was you, Martin. You registered. Okay, Martin V, you're from... Uh, what is that? You're from a different country. Is that right? What is that? Savalk? I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> Who else we got here? We got Robert Lee from San Francisco, California. Got your registration. Uh, we're almost done. I'm almost out to 20. Jacqueline Glass from Georgia. Got your registration. By the way, I'll show you. I'll show you the orders. I don't want people to think I'm lying. These are all the orders right here. You can see right here. Robert. Martin, Kelly. Oh, that's got this one right here. There's all the people are registering right now coming across. My email keeps ringing. Any other questions? Oh, you're near Italy. Oh, okay. There you go, Martin. Du Italiano too? <laughs> okay. If, look forward, look forward to having you in the room, Martin. Anyone else? Any questions? Um, when could I start? Actually, honestly, I would start right away. It's fresh in your mind. If you can get your appointment immediately, get it done immediately tomorrow. Um, if you want to start on Monday, I know that people will be going on vacation, but listen, you're in positions right now. Just lock in the rate. One person says, uh, I'm not ready to sign up. Can I sign up later? Listen, you could sign up later, but I don't know if this promotion is going to, we're going to keep it for this year. Uh, but you could always just move it on for the next year. Just getting a couple of alerts on my trading room coming up. Hold on. They had a couple of stocks. I just got halted. Let me see what they're looking at. It had a couple of stocks, had a couple of big movers that are moving right now. They're looking at a stock right now, uh, SMFL. It's a stock right here to show you the trading room. You can see how we're posting, you know, the book viewer, like the orders. You can see how the cyber group members, the, the instructors are talking to everybody. Uh, they're looking at this stock right here that has a really good move right here. The stock started this morning at 260. Actually, I'm sorry, it started this morning at $1.80. It ran all the way to $5. How much is that stock up? It's up 185%. This stock was, if you could see right here, about last year, it was a $1,400 stock. Imagine only $1,400 stock and went only down to a dollar. Oh my God, lower than a dollar. You don't want to be that person. All right, any other questions? A couple other people here registering. Uh, what else we got here that just bought? Jerry, Jerry D from Louisiana. Got your registration. Thank you very much. Appreciate appreciate your confidence. 
Uh, Tim has a question. I'm driving an 18 year old, uh, 18 year old wheeler right now. I'm listening on the phone. I can't scan anything right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you know what, Tim? I, I don't want you to crash. You got the 18 wheeler. I know where you go. And let me tell you, it's funny you say that. I got about four or five instructors, uh, students that are, you know, drivers like you, not including first responders, pilots, everybody. But when you pull over, you got the link right there. Um, just register when you get when you get, get on your break. All right. It is being recorded, so you can register later, you know, if you want to. All right. Any other questions, uh, fellow traders? Uh, Brad has a question. Please be careful. Yeah, we're not sharing anybody's information. Absolutely. Absolutely. We don't do that. What else we got here? Uh, Leela got your registration. Lewis got your registration. Marlene. Welcome aboard. Got your registration. Welcome aboard. Good to see. You. All right. No problem. Thank you. Very much. All right, guys, I'm going to get ready for the market open up. Thanks for listening. Listen, it's not too late to register. Um, you got the QR code. These are all the things that you're going to be getting. Just let me give you a little recap. You're going to get pre-market trade, after-market trade. You're going to get hundreds of hours of workshops. You're going to get three personal workshops. We're going to show you how to get book map, uh, book viewer, uh, you're going to get a free coaching class with me. You're going to get a lot for $9. And the purpose of it is not about the nine bucks. It's about finding real serious traders out there that want to make this successful. And you're going to see why we've been endorsed by every brokerage firm, have a great record on the internet, and also, you know, why we've been doing it for so long. So hopefully we can, we can make you a successful trader too. Or more importantly, make sure that it's not for you. It's always one way to find out. You got to try it. Because you got to learn before you can earn. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Happy trading. And I'll see you all in the trading room.